Hello guys and welcome back. Now that we know the basics of using the Chatfuel's JSON API plugin, let's start by using it. So uh, now to do that, I'll click on this plus button in the add card section. And in here, I'll select the JSON API plugin. Now this requires a URL and this can be a URL for a RESTful API that accepts either a GET request or a POST request. In this section, we are just going to talk about GET requests and probably in some other article and videos, we will be talking about handling and uh, using the POST requests JSON APIs. So let me use the GET request as of now. Now, since this requires a URL and we don't really have it, let's create one by using JSON blog. So I'm going to go to jsonblog.com and in here I have a default response like so. Now to let the chat fuels platform understand a particular response and render it in a way, we have already seen that it requires the response to be in a particular format. So let's say if we had this response, then it is not going to be rendered by the JSON uh, API plugin for chat fuel. Let me just quickly show that to you by saving this. We get a URL here and the response that we get here from this API is I'll have to append the API slash as well after the website name so that I get the response in this way. Now that we have it, let's quickly copy that and use it in here. So let's do that and test this chatbot out. So if I click on view on messenger.com, then it's going to load that bot for me and we'll see some messages. So we just saw the after text typing, but we didn't really see any response that we got from the JSON API plugin. So to get a proper response, we'll have to set this response that we have here in a format that is expected by the chat fuels platform. So to do that, let me just quickly go to uh, JSON API documentation. And in here, let's quickly copy this response text here. And I'm going to update that accordingly. Now, if I save that, and let's test this bot again. So now after this, I'll get text after typing. And after that, I'll see those two text blocks. So these are the two text blocks that are rendered dynamically by this response that we got from the API that we see here. Let's just reload this and see the updated API. Okay, so this is uh, basically how you can use the JSON API plugin. Now in the later uh, sections or in the next video, we are going to see how we can use some other formats that have been specified in here. So I'll see you guys in the next video.